hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to do a piece of alcohol ink art and how to transfer it on to a small canvas like this i've got my piece of yippo paper here basically what i've done is just cut out a square from a really large piece of yippo paper that i had now you want it to be bigger than the canvas that you have here because usually when I do a piece of art there are sections of it that I prefer and sections that I don't so it's quite nice to give yourself an option um, of being able to sort of cut out this section or this section instead of just having the exact size square and not being happy with some of the sides or sections so I always do a bigger piece I mean you could do double the size and get two canvases out of it or whatever you want to do um, but today I'm just going to do a really small square canvas here so I'm going to work quite quickly because with inks you do need to work quite quickly or they start to dry and not mix so well. Obviously you can use the isopropyl to make them blend better but I just like to work quite quickly. So the materials that I've got today are some alcohol inks. Again I've always used this Tim Holtz Adirondack inks. I really love them and they do so many colours as well. Um, I've also got some acrylic inks uh, from Liquitex. I'm not sure I'm going to use those today. And then obviously some isopropyl alcohol. You can just buy these big bottles of it from Amazon and stuff. And then also I'm going to use one of these foam brushes. Again, you can get them from any art store, Poundland, places like that. And some, I've got some Jacquard Pinata White because I find this one better to use than the Adirondack inks. Um, I've also in a spray bottle, now this is in my heat defence spray bottle, it's not heat defence spray, I'm just using the bottle, um, but just find any spray bottle. I've put some isopropyl in this bottle here, which I'm going to use to spray on the page. It's just easier than pouring and it makes sure the whole page gets covered. <laughs> so I'm going to start with making sure my artwork is clean. I have already been doing some today so it's gotten a bit messy underneath but this piece is nice and clean and ready to go. So yeah the first thing we're going to do is use our isopropyl alcohol spray and spray the whole page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to work quite quickly so I'm just going to talk whilst I'm going through it. So just spray the page with a good amount. Again, make sure you've got good ventilation in your the area that you're working in. I'm going to put some black on this page. And then I'm also going to... Oh, that smells bad. Put some white. Okay. Then I'm going to use this foam brush just to kind of figure out a pattern that I like. That'll do. Okay. And then I'm going to just spray the page a little bit more. Okay, now you can see it's kind of started to create these effects here, which are quite cool. Turquoise, this one is Stream. I'm going to use a little bit of Stream. Maybe in here as well. Some of the white. And the colours will start to blend really nicely. I'm also going to put some isopropyl in a cup. Use a, so this got purple in it actually. Use a um, paintbrush on these sides here. Okay, so I'm going to use a bit more stream here. Use a bit more white. I always think the white on it just makes it look really quite fab and sometimes you don't even need to do anything to it it just kind of affects it makes the effects itself I've got some pink sherbet here and 
some more at the and blend that in a bit more and maybe a little bit up here it's all about experimentation and seeing what colours work well together sometimes they don't work at all, at all well <laughs> and um, you know you just give it another go try another piece of piece of paper see what works see what doesn't work um, but I'm telling you mine really don't always work at all <laughs> adding some more isopropyl just to kind of make some more patterns here and maybe even a little bit of purple this is purple twilight not much because the purple is quite overbearing And I'm just kind of using the brush to drag it to the bits that I want it to go to. If you don't like these side bits here and they're not going so well, I always find that if you add a bit of white it kind of sorts itself out really. So I'm just going to work on this section up here which I don't really like. Just adding some details here and there. I mean also sometimes what I do is I just pour a bit of the a white alcohol ink into the cart and then I just use the brush um, just to like if there's like little bits that I want a bit of white in. And I mean sometimes that, that it doesn't work <laughs> so please don't worry if you try this and it's not looking exactly how you want it it's it's really trial and error and I've had times where it's gone horrendously well in fact already a couple of times today but I mean I'm quite lucky I'm, I'm feeling like this one looks all right so far just also don't overwork it if you feel like it's not going so right leave it for a bit and then maybe go back to it rather than carrying on because there's times when I've ruined it by actually overworking it when it didn't need it okay so i think for now i'm gonna leave that um, i'm quite happy with the way it looks so what i'm gonna do is let that dry for a good hour at least just make sure it's dry to touch and then we'll look at cutting out the section we like and putting it on the canvas okay so I've actually left it for a couple of days. I didn't get around to finishing it the other day, which is why my nails are now a different color. But uh, yeah, I just let this dry. Um, I really like some of the effects I've got here. Actually, I'll zoom in just to show you guys. Yeah, so you've got some really cool effects around here. Um, I quite like this bit here. Uh, there's bits of it that I don't like, like this bit and maybe some of this bit up here um, but yeah I'm gonna work into it a little bit more yeah so I'm just gonna do a couple of close-up techniques here what I've got is my um, a paintbrush which I have chopped the end off so I'm left with a really small stump here um, and this is quite a good idea when you're wanting to make like little patterns in it um, well, you could use maybe the end of a cotton wool bud or something that's really small and round is best. So what I'm going to do first is get some of this really nice yellow colour, um, which is this one here. And I'm going to put a really small bit in a cup. Now you might find it starts to react with 
the ink already down. So I just think this big white bit is just too boring. <laughs> so I'm just adding some pink here. I'm just brightening up this really dark bit down here because I don't like how dark it is down here. Okay, so I mean I'm quite pleased with that now. So I'm probably going to stop there. Now if you find there's little bits of alcohol ink sprayed, like I've got tiny dots here, you can just get a bit of tissue paper, dip it into some isopropyl, um, which I've done, and then just use it to wipe away some of the dots if they're in places that you didn't want. Or you can just use the edge of a um, cotton wool bud or something like that, if it's small sections. Okay, so once everything has dried and it's ready to go, I've got my canvas here. And as I said before, it's smaller than the original picture. So what I want to do is figure out which sections I want onto the canvas. Now I really like basically the middle bit here. Um, I don't want this bit in it and I don't really want some of this bit in it maybe, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so I'm thinking I'll probably cut off a bit of the bottom as well. So maybe have it around here. So I'm going to lay it flat down onto the sheet. Make sure it's straight. I'm going to put some pencil marks on each corner. So one on that corner. Okay, so I wouldn't draw around the canvas because the canvas has like bobbly bits on it, you know, and it will come out wonky. So if you've just marked them on, then you can grab a ruler, the Okay, and at this point you can either use a guillotine or just if you've got a steady hand you can use some scissors. So I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to cut it slightly in on the pencil line so that you don't see any of the pencil line. Okay, so I'm quite happy with how it looks. It fits on the canvas well. Um, so all I've got to do now is to glue it on and then resin it. So what I've got is some spray adhesive. I wouldn't particularly recommend this one but it's all I've got at the minute. This is just from Wilkinson's. Um, yeah it comes out a little bit gloopy but it works. It does the job. Anyway fairly quickly you need to put your painting on. So you can kind of move it whilst it's still okay so that is stuck down um, it's pretty good pretty well done out. but basically what I did was covered it with the resin used um, a card to swipe across the resin then I torched the bubbles out and then I left it to dry for 24 hours and this is the result so it's finished it's hard it's shiny um, and I think it's a really nice result here um, and I've also got another one that I did the other day here we go. I actually painted the sides purple this time. And uh, yeah, this one's turned out quite good as well. It's um, I think it's really nice to have this shine on these paintings and the gold leaf works well here too. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you liked it, please hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. And I'm hoping to do another video soon on how to use alcohol inks directly onto the canvas. So look out for that one soon. But yeah, thank you for watching this video and see you all soon.